Hey guys, I'm Steve Cash. I haven't made a video blog in quite some time, so I wanted to make a little update. First off, to thank everybody for your support with Gibson. Gibson was pretty sick. He had a urinary tract infection that turned almost fatal, but I think we caught it in time and he's all right now, except for his little shaved leg, which he won't let me touch. It's okay, kitty. But Gibson's doing a lot better now. And... Steve? Just a second. So Are you okay? I'm fine. So I... Who are you talking to? Kitty, why are you yelling at me? Are you okay? Oh, because I was talking to myself? Yeah? <laughs> I'm making a video. Okay. All right. Okay. I also wanted to thank YouTube for sending me this fancy little award. I didn't even know they had awards, but they sent me this as well as a spotlight, some chairs, and a giant green screen, which I had no idea what to do with. So I started experimenting. First, I made a little video where I put myself in a box, and then I put myself in a smaller box, and then I took a little green shirt and I put it around Shelby, and then I put the same green shirt around my face, which I probably should have done in a different order. But either way, the human dog hybrid was born. I have no idea why I made that video. After the last Talking Kitty video, I got a lot of comments from new viewers wondering how I get my kitty cats to do whatever I want. Well, it's pretty simple, actually. First off, you have to make sure early to bed, early to rise, they stay on the same schedule all the time. Sylvester, wake up. Mom. Kitty, it's already afternoon. Sylvester, you got to get up. Mm -hmm. Sylvester. <laughs> kitty, kitty. <laughs> Seriously, get the hell up. Come on. You have to get them up bright and early, and you also have to make sure they always go to bed on time. Sylvester, what? it's time for bed. Come on, you guys gotta go. Come on, that means you too, Gibson. Get up, come on. Let's head on in there. All right, kitties, lay down. <laughs> Good night, kitties, I'll see you in the morning. Which, of course, is complete bullshit because I have no control over my kitties. What a weird question. So last weekend, we were driving back from Las Vegas up through Idaho, and my fiance and I ran through a giant stampede of tumble monsters. I caught the whole thing on my phone as my girlfriend was freaking the fuck out. What? Freaking Pull over the there. fuck out! Pull over. In her defense, it was kind of scary, but either way, I got back home and I uploaded that video to Lively where it got over a quarter million views in just one day. Well, meanwhile, on the rest of the internet, I got a bunch of comments from people in Backlash wondering why I wasn't behind the wheel. Why is she driving? The boyfriend should have switched places with her and drove. For someone with a phobia, that's just torturous. To be honest with you, I had a little alcohol in my system and don't drink and drive. The alcohol might also explain why the tumbleweeds were so damn funny to me. Anyways, for the short update, everybody's doing great. Gibson's feeling a lot better, Shelby's happy, Sylvester's a dick, Izzy vanished, Celia hasn't seen any more tumbleweeds, Todd is still a mystery, and Pause for the Cause is going to be opening up for the Whalers, minus Bob Marley because I guess he's dead. Either way, I want to thank everybody for being patient with me. Hopefully we have a great 2014, and I guess I'll see you guys soon.